Hi guys, welcome to week four of the HPL. My name is Heathen Hammer uh, with you guys here. Uh, we're just waiting for the map to flip right now. So we're, uh, we're just chilling, but uh, we're gonna be flipping within the next couple minutes here. Um, and we're playing on Purple Heart Lane today, of course, PKKA versus the five, uh, Russia versus France. I, I expect it to be a good game. I mean, PKKA has shown us that they're improving consistently over the first three weeks of the HPL. Um, in the five, you know, they did take an L early on, but they have been showing strong uh, since then. So I'm I'm excited to see uh, what can happen in this game. And it's Purple Heart Lane, right? So, you know, there isn't a lot of of different ways to get around the map. It's very open in some ways. You know, a lot of bridges, a lot of rivers kind of chopping the map up. So we'll see how effect, that affects the competitive nature of the game. Um, I'm really excited to see what these teams can bring to the table. I'm especially excited to see how uh, PKKA can adjust um, and come, but kind of bounce back. You know, they, they haven't won a game yet, but last game, let me just remind the viewers, they almost went 4-1 up uh, before, before losing the match. I mean, it was a really close, probably about 30 seconds they were away from going 4-1 up on that. Uh, after, actually, we were playing on Canter 10, you can see here. So what happened is is they they had capped Town Center to start off, and then when they got the customs, uh, they were a quarter, two quarters through the cap. However, an amazing play right, right here on Town Center, uh, a satchel play killed about 15 members of PKA, so... We'll see. We'll see what they can do and how they can adjust their their game uh, this week. And, and on the other side, we got the five, which is a, is a French team uh, coming together. A bunch of different clans coming together to, to play under that banner, and uh, they've looked solid. You know, this is going to be a real tough test for PKKA, um, and I think I think they're going to have a hard time. Honestly, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, though. I mean, Purple Heart Lane, it's it's not as open. It's more segmented. You got all those canals blocking. Uh, uh, blocking off there, so we'll see how it is. Hey, how close are we to kick off the match? Are the both teams good? Ah, okay, yeah, so there's about one or two guys missing from each team to join, uh, and then we'll be flipping and getting right into the match here. Should be good. I'm looking for a good match, honestly. Uh, hopefully the PKK can give us a little more of a fight. You know, they got to be aware of those garrisons. They can't let like a one satchel just take out their entire defense on the point. Um, but it was, it, you know, in defense, it was, it was a good play by uh 38. That's who they played last week. So it'd be interesting to see here too. You know, the purple heart lane is so, uh, it's such a hard map to play on, even as a pub myself, when I'm playing on it. Because all of those rivers chopping the map up, it only takes one or two guys or even a machine gunner, per se, to defend, you know, a whole push across the rivers, of course, because in Hell Let Loose, there isn't swimming, you know, so when you get in that deep river, you're going to drown unless, you know, you're you're crazy. Like we've seen from Core, I think members bunny hopping across the river to get across. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what they're able to do here. I... Uh, I'm hoping for a good game above all. Hopefully, hopefully both teams have come prepared. And, and you know, uh, ho hopefully the five haven't slept on PKK either, you know. Um, I know they've had a, a tough time of it, but uh, they've shown constant improvement uh, throughout the weeks. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see. As we are just about set to flip the match, it looks like we got, we're missing one player on each team. Uh, uh, no, sorry. We're not missing any on the uh, the axis. We're missing one on uh, from PKA. So we're going to flip it and start this, boys, roughs. Looks like looks like uh, axis. The five is ready. Of course, we got, like I said, uh, the five is a is a coming together a bunch of clans. You know, we got Raptors, AVC. What else do we got in here? We got some other EC. So it's really a, a, a huge combination team, and it's amazing that they they can get it uh, to work, you know. So teams like BR1, uh, 20th PZG, Exodus are, are, are combo teams like Redline, BR1, TL. So, you know, some things you see when it's not a, a team that comes together is they have lack in communication and issues. However, we haven't seen that for anything from uh, the five yet. It seems like they've had a lot of experience together. So. Hey, thank you for the follow. Oh man, 
dropping the sauce down here. All right, so uh, yeah, we're about to flip the game, and yeah, we should get right into it. I'm gonna run the uh, trailer, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy the match. Hey guys, my name is Heathen Hammer. Welcome to week four of the HPL action here on Purple Heart Lane. We might have a restart quickly because what happened is actually when we flipped the map, uh, everyone disconnected on both teams. So we might have a quick restart here. Just letting you guys know. Okay, it looks like we are gonna restart, so. That'll just be a quick restart here to, uh, are, are we going to flip it twice, uh, so that we can get the teams back? Okay. Yeah. Flip it, flip it. We'll get flip, flip twice. Cause then we'll be on the wrong teams. All right, back to just chatting. Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, we did have a mass DC on the flip, so we're gonna double flip the map and then we'll get ready and get reset on it to see uh, if we can do that. Uh, welcome guys in the chat uh, from both France and Russia. How are you doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Really excited to cast this match for you guys today. Uh, unfortunately alone, uh, <laughs> but uh, no, it, it's gonna be a good match. Uh, hopefully we get on the flip next time we get everyone uh, everyone in the game and not a, like a mass a mass DC there. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, no, really excited. I see if, see what we get on the uh, on the flip again because we did get the pull box last time as the center point, and that's a really hard point to fight over. It's what you know wide in the open. Um, Artillery is going to play a huge role. You know, there isn't very many buildings, kind of like last week what we saw. Uh, the buildings were absorbing a lot of the hits there, um, except for some massive, uh, massive hits on uh, on Pumas and squads and stuff. But the artillery is going to play a huge role here. So I'm, I'm excited to see what both teams can bring in terms of artillery and, and maybe uh, denying that artillery. As we've seen so far in the league, you know, this is week four. We've seen a lot of teams uh, sending one scout squad to just stop that artillery in its tracks, to stop them from, you know, really just bogging down any kind of movement or attacking movement on the uh, on the map, right? Um, and especially on a map like this that is wide open with not a lot of cover, I think that artillery aspect will be absolutely massive. So we'll see what they can do there with that. Um, other than that, though, I'm excited to see some tank gameplay in the open too. You know, th like I said, there are a lot of bridges and and canals that tanks can't navigate, but there's also a lot of open spaces where tanks will be able to just absolutely lock down a, a cap, an approach to a cap, or a whole half of the map. Uh, um, on the right side of the map there near near the center, as, as you know, it's just 
completely open fields, right? So that's gonna be that's gonna be beautiful if you're a tanker looking at that. We'll see what they can do there. Um, other things I'm looking for uh, is to see the defending from PKKA, how they're gonna manage that. Uh, last week, you know, their garrison placement was uh, was a little off. They, they did cap the first point very well. Um, that was their first cap of the the season so far but they followed it up with a garrison placement almost exactly on the point. And it only took, and it only took one satchel to take it out. Now, mind you, the satchel didn't take out the garrison completely, but it essentially killed like 50 members of PKK that were on the point. So we'll see if they can kind of uh, have a better strategy for that garrison. If they do cap the first point and put it a little off of, off of the point there. Uh, are we going to flip again before we start there? Okay, cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hopefully we don't have any more uh, DCs there because that's unfortunate. All right. Yeah, so if we're looking at the map again, so we flipped it again. Now we have Southern Edge instead of Pillbox. So that's going to be uh, it's gonna be interesting. But this is Foy. This isn't this isn't Purple Heart Lane. What am I saying? Um, so I, I don't know what, what it's going to look like. You know, I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm leaning a little towards the five uh, taking this one. Um, but you know, PKK is kind of that wild card and we've seen constant improvement from them over the weeks. So I don't want to count them out either. Alrighty. Both sides good to go. Nice. What do you guys think of the match? Uh, write down in the chat below who you think is going to take the match, who you're cheering for, uh, what you guys want to see from this match, you know? That, that armor gameplay is going to be huge, but uh, like I said a little earlier before we had that little mix up with the uh, the crashing there, um, you know, one or two guys can hold down a bridge, you know, and there's seven or eight bridges that just can stop any kind of movement around this whole map, right, on the left and on the right, um, and, and it seems every two grid squares coming down also we have those bridges, so like one machine gunner, you know, what are you going to do to that? Uh, especially if there's no cover within 100 meters either side of the bridge. It's going to be interesting as we do flip. All right, so we'll try that again. We'll get uh, play that little intro here and get back into the game. And when I come back, hopefully no DCs. Welcome to Purple Heart Lane, everybody, in this match of the HPL Week 4 with PKKA versus the 5. On our left, we have the 5 from France, a combo team of many different communities coming together, pitting their strength. And on the right side, we have PKKA in the blue, an all-Russian team looking for their first victory in the HPL this week. So as you can see... From top to bottom, our points are from the five. They have Bloody Bend as their first point, Jordan Canal, Gruel Pillbox, and then on the PKKA side, we have Madeline Bridge and Cabbage Patch. So I think advantage initially is on the PKKA side for this. Just look at the, the double, almost triple distance that they have 
uh, towards their next point. Uh, whereas on the five side, both their points are fairly close together. So this is going to be a little difficult uh, if PKK Day do manage to get that first point and push on to the second one. However, both teams are getting ready to move out right now as we only have 14 seconds left. And as we can see here, uh, we do have quite a few more members of PKKA coming to the uh, the midpoint. And this is something that they didn't do in the first couple of weeks of HPL. Um, last week, uh, they did send some more people and they were rewarded with a cap initially off the bat as it does look like Commander possibly getting his truck stuck. No, no, he's good to go. Okay, that's good to see. Now be interested to see what PKK do here on the center point. Hopefully, hopefully they push more. I'd like to see both teams clash together uh, in the center here. Because as we've seen in the past, whoever takes that center point can really, really solidify control of the match. PKK is almost there coming in from the right, but it looks like the five, the five do have quite a few people here. I'm only seeing five on the map though. They're going to have to send some more than that if they want to capture this point as we do see two trucks coming in very fast now. Ah, there we go. And the five do start cap. Oh no, as, oh my God, what a shot from artillery taking out a full squad from the five. PKKA with an insanely lucky shot off the top with that artillery strike. It absolutely demolished a full squad of the five. Now, how are they going to answer to that? That was their first squad. As we do see a second squad get dropped off north of the point here. They're going to have to kill and kill good because there's quite a few more members of PKKA on point right now. They're not killing enough though. The five is not killing enough as PKK continues to cap on the midpoint. They're not gonna be able to take this. The five needs to get some crazy kill streaks going here. Godfrey and Coos, if they wanna take over this point. Now, just as I say that, Godfrey gets a rocket off on the Panzer two. Now that's gonna be crucial. He needs to take that one out as it, oh no, he doesn't. There we go, it does go down. Now that's crucial for, for the five there as it does look like PKK is getting pushed off the middle point. After that first artillery strike though, it was looking a little dicey for the five. Let's go on board with Godfrey here and see if he can't uh, clear the rest of this PKK squad out. As he does take down the second last member. However, crucially, he didn't see the outpost there. Oh no, he gets shot in the back. He had a chance to kill that outpost and take, take control of this point. However, it looks like the reinforcements have arrived and the cavalry is here. As there's only two members left of PKK alive on point. Unfortunately for PKK, they did not follow up that initial amazing arty shot with with much of anything Really, we only saw one squad contesting the point whereas, you know, uh, the five sent back up two squads in to reinforce that position However, it's not over yet as the reinforcements have arrived for PKKA with about two squads pushing in from the back line However, they're, they're in the open there, and if, if the five realize this and get a machine gunner down, they're going to be screwed. So we'll see if they can push back on the point here and contest. As it does look like the center portion of PKA's push has been taken out by the five, and all that remains kind of is this trickle of infantry coming in the backside.
I don't know how well this is going to work, especially with no smoke. PKK needs to get their artillery and get that get that smoke down so they can push down this lane. But right now we don't see any smoke and we see guys getting taken out. And that's not good news for PKK, even though they are still capping just with uh, their presence inside the uh, the cap zone in the sector. Now, this is going to be the ultimate meat grinder here. What can PKK do? If I was a squad leader in PKK, I would be on the phone with my artillery squad saying drop HE and smoke right on the point right now because without it they're gonna get they're gonna get taken out oh my god as a as a massive strike from artillery takes out four to five members of pkk and like i said look at this we got machine gunners set up and they are going to town right now on pkka absolutely going to town the only hope for this flank is if that section of pkk on the right side is able to push down this hedge and take out these machine gunners positions otherwise this is going to be a, oh my god as another artillery strike comes in and takes out half a squad of pkka absolutely crazy opening to the start exactly what i thought i was going to see from this game artillery playing a crucial role and absolutely demolishing squads caught in the open As we do see decap coming again from the side of PKA, they are decapping. And that is just because their whole team is spawning on this garrison back here in the bottom right side. And they're just pushing back into the sector. But I'm thinking once the five can get set up on this line here and set up a good defensive line, this push is going to be over. Regardless of how many bodies PKK throws at this wave attack. As we are starting to see cap progress again from the side of the five, it looks like the, just the amount of bodies they have on point is uh, is brute forcing its way and uh, and counteracting uh, five's wave attack on the point. I'd like to see uh, some more tank action here. As, as I say that, we do see a Tiger tank pulling up for PKKA. However, he's got to watch out because we do have two, at least two ATs, three ATs if you're counting uh, Godfrey up there. And they're going to be on the hunt for him. As we see RZ right away pushing up. Let's go on board with RZ and see what it's like from his perspective. Because he is going to be trying to get a shot off on that Tiger tank. Maybe he doesn't see it quite yet, but he's going to feel it if he, uh, if he gets any closer. Machine gun firing away. So it looks like RZ is going to bandage up and possibly try to get a, a shot off on this tank or is he going to spot it out he does have his squad lead there to support him excuse me oh as we do see an arty attack coming in on pkka and it does take out quite a few members probably four or five not too too many the tiger crucially does live though so we're going to see RZ probably put a few shots of his rocket into him as we do get a cap from the five. That was a good job. Now it's three to the five. They, they had a shaky start to that game though. Unfortunately for them, a very lucky arty shot landed and took out a, uh, a full, full transport truck, truck at the start. So that set them back a little bit, but almost allowing PKA to cap the point. However, unfortunately for PKA, they did not reinforce their position very well. And the five was able to just push bodies onto point, outkill PKKA, 
and now solidify defensive line here onto the point to stop any uh, further attacks. As that Tiger goes down, RZ with the AT. RZ Hacker, three or four ATs. There's, there's no chance of that Tiger getting anything done here. As we do see a second garrison from PKK going down, it's quite a ways off point though. And you know what? The five knows exactly where that's at. So they're gonna be calling in their RD to take care of that. So be interesting to see how the five rotate into attacking now once uh, Once they push it looks like they're just pushing out though to clear out the outpost and the uh, garrison before pushing ahead As we do see uh, first larger tank on the map coming out looks like it's taking some damage now that damage is probably be straight from a uh, artillery strike because I haven't seen much AT up from uh, PKKA as it does have crucially though a direct line of sight onto PKKA's garrison it looks like Or it's just shelling through the bush right now, okay So probably one of the uh, the squad lead spotting out for the uh, for the tank there, maybe Ren on the right side here, spotting rounds for the tank. So as PKKA looks to uh, shake it up with an attack here, I don't think this is gonna work from them. I don't think this garrison back here is gonna be very effective, especially because they have this huge field to push across. What I'd like to see from them is possibly an airhead um, to get set up and to uh, push into the next point. We're actually gonna to take a little look at Madeline Bridge as we do see the garrison going down to see what's going on over here. So it does look like we have a little bit of activity over here on bridge on the uh, the flank with Stroker uh, trying to get set up though. It, I like to see this from PKK. They have infantry scattered across defending this crossing over here so definitely not giving it up by any means we do also have a, a tank on the main road here let's see if i can spot it out for you here all the way down here doesn't look like we can go on board with him so that is shelling the bridge right now. But other than that, I don't see much movement from uh, from the five. It'd be nice to see an airhead possibly or uh, a flanking squad coming from behind. So as we can see from PKA here, their, their main forward garrison uh, the four garrison sorry is overrun however they do have some outposts gary here crucially nothing on this side though i'd like to see a garrison on this side to defend uh, against these approaches because you do have some recon pushing this right side let's see if we can if we can see them here uh looking to take some of that out so we do have a sniper on the uh on the right side here too with the main attacking force coming through this little town here with Hakur. See if we can go on board with Hakur right now. He does take one out. Ballate's looking like a ballerina there, doing a little dance for us. Hakur gives, does get a good sight line down this road here. Now this is the main attack from uh, the five here. So PKK is gonna have to respond to this one. And right now, they don't have much of anything over here to do it with. Although, as I say that, there is a panther tank 
but he's pushing right past where that uh, other member of PKK got taken out and he's gonna offer no support to this push here as RZ sees that panther tank like a squirrel running after a nut he's gonna try to get him from behind but crucially for PKK they they had a couple people over here and they're gone no one else is left here so the fire is just gonna waltz across this bridge here now I do see a few guys coming back ballets coming back down but there isn't really anything to stop uh, the five from pushing along this this road here as we do see the panther tank going across the bridge we'll see if RZ can catch up with him and, and give him a little rocket hello here he's got a sight line here is he going to take it? no he doesn't take it where's he going? he could have shot him <laughs> he's going for that back shot as he does get an outpost Good for him getting a recon outpost there from uh, from PKK. This is going to be an, the easiest shot he's ever seen as it already gets taken out from the front. Unfortunately for RZ, no shot for you, no kill for you. As it, I'm curious what that what took that out. That must have been an artillery shot, possibly, or or maybe an anti tank uh, gun somewhere did not see what took that out unless the uh, RZ did take this shot and it just didn't have any uh any effect as we do see pkk getting pushed hard on point here though now look at this a full frontal assault from the five here and they only have one squad on defense where where's the defense from pkk here finally that we do have some spawns coming in but that's that's not gonna be enough. They need to get in there as we see scalp taking out two Excuse me there in the smoke PKA needs to get some kills here or they're gonna lose this point very quickly As we are seeing some cap progress it's back and forth right now on the point PKA needs needs to get more bodies in here as we do have snake from the five Very close to this garrison though, and he's gonna be shutting this garrison down Oh my gosh, that's a massive artillery strike comes in but crucially it misses everybody There's nobody of the five left alive for that artillery strike. They could have used that a little earlier uh, However now we do have a flanking attack with Falco and his squad on the uh, on the right flank here this is going to be trouble for PKKA. And they are not expecting this. Hey, do you guys mind moving me to uh, live, please? Sorry, I'm still in uh, mod. Uh, whichever one has nobody in it. As we do see Falco squad pushing up this right flank here. And oh, crucially, Abdulux is here. And he gets taken out because there's even more dark fate has another squad and another outpost further back on the right flank here so suddenly this is turned and yeah it looks like snake found that garrison and the rest of the squad spawned in and this is this is going towards the five very quickly now we also have cap progress on the middle point that is going towards pkk however the five is already halfway in this cap race and PKK is, is just about half now. This is this is going to come down to the wire here, though, as PKK is speeding up their cap. Let's rotate back over to uh, Pillbox to see how PKK is doing it here. As they do have a majority, and the PKK is winning this. They're winning the cap. The cap race is going towards PKK right now. This is going to be close. This is going to be really close. As PKKA is flipping the middle cap and potentially could go up 3-2 on this. Wow. What a play from PKKA. Really showing us. Oh, no. I was about to say really showing us their, their resolve as they do get stalled. This is going to go down to the line here. I cannot wait to see what happens. Oh no, a huge spawn wave comes in from the five, stopping the cap completely. Oh no. 
Oh no, Misha! Misha needs to get some kills here! And that is it! The cap has stopped! That full wave off the garrison completely negates the, the cap of PKKA as we are gonna see the five take Madeline Bridge. Are we? Oh my god, it's so close! PKK is now capping back. Madeline Bridge and still capping the middle point. I don't know what's gonna happen. This is insane! Huge shout out to PKKA for bringing it this game. What did I say before the game? If they could learn the lessons from the past couple of weeks and improve off them, they could do really well. I'm, I'm a little worried though. PKKA does have control over the bridge, but they're slowly getting pushed back and surrounded here on Madeline Bridge. As we can see a horseshoe forming around PKK members that are just on this street here. And it looks like PKK is holding for now and also the five is holding on their point. Looks like the cap race is stalled a little bit here with both teams. You know, PKKA is capping back, but they are slowly getting surrounded here. I'm worried this garrison could go down in the middle here. And if it does go down, PKK is going to be in trouble very, very fast. Hey, just, just again, Mordred, can you guys move me to that channel or no? Oh, okay. Do you, guys, do you guys, is this the only ref channel? Or you, is there another channel you guys can hop into? Oh shit. Or shoot, my bad. Uh, as we do see that central garrison, RZ here is going to be proxying it. Now, PKA needs to do something about this. Because if, if look, Sprocker gets gets a kill here, he's gonna find that garrison, and then that's gonna be that's gonna be all she wrote here. As we do see the middle point capped back by the five, and now we are starting to see cap action over here from PKA. Wow. That was so close. Again, PKA is so close to some of these plays. But in the end, as it looks like the five is gonna be going up 4-1 here. PKK is starting to lose guys, and that pincer is starting to close on them. The last two members of PKKA are all that's left on that garrison, and that's going to be proxy now. That's going to be proxy. Wow. So close again from PKKA. However, just getting slowly outflanked there in, uh, in proxied on their spawns. To where we're gonna see Falco take out call keeper here. Sorry, RZ and, and the last spawn really This is all that's left here is uh, this outpost Gonna be over on the uh, left flank here, but you know the caps already about to be gone Man, Good job. Good job from both teams PKKA showing us that they're not gonna gonna roll over at, at by any means almost winning a cap race there however it is gonna go 4-1 uh, to the five, a superb flank from the five there. Absolutely showing their class. Wow, what a, what a game so far though. PKK is not giving up. However, we do have some cap action from the five over a cabbage patch. Oh no, what is going on? Oh no, we turn around and we see, oh my God, this might be over. Without a defense on the last point, unfortunately, PKKA spawns their whole team back at the second point. Why? Why did they do that? Why did they spawn everybody over there? What is going on? And they're running back now. Oh, no. They have a garrison right here. They have a, the, the HQ is here. Why are they spawning at the midpoint? As we are over almost halfway cap progress. <clears throat> on the last point pkk is gonna need a miracle if they want to stay in this game oh man but that that the whole team from the five is here i think this is over i think this one is over what is going on we had such good 
fights on the midpoint from PKKA and just for them to all spawn in the wrong place. Oh no. Because we are almost 60% capped on the last point. The five absolutely sending everybody on their team back here. And they have a, a stranglehold on point. And without a miracle, this is going to be all she wrote for this game. Let's go on board with Manrus here. He needs to have the best minute of his life if he's going to stop this cap. I don't think it's possible. The best minute of his life is FPS life right here. As he gets taken out immediately by scalp from the roof. What a spot on the roof here from Scalp as he takes out two, possibly three, and that is going to be it for the game. 5-0, the five taking it over PKKA. Oh man, unfortunate there from PKKA. They had, they did such a good job early on. They were so close to a, a cap race back and forth for them to just put nobody on the last point. I don't understand it for the life of me. However, that's the way it happens sometimes. You know, you get caught up in the moment, the adrenaline's pumping, one misclick, and your whole team spawns in the wrong garrison. And you know what? Credit to where credit is due. The five got set up on the last point. They did a really good job of, after they capped um, PKK's second last point, they spawned their whole team. They had a garrison ready to go, and they spawned their whole team there. Let's switch back over to uh, to just chatting, guys. Wow. What a game. What a game, guys. The five showed us their, their class on um, skill, especially from logistics, to go and get that garrison set up. And boom, immediately. When they took that point, their whole team respawned. And we saw it. They all respawned. They spawned on the Gary that was already set up on point. And from then on, PKK didn't have a chance. Honestly, Yes, they spawned on the wrong point. Excuse me. They, they Their whole team should have spawned north and then pushed in. They should have had armor there to support, you know, and, and push in. And they didn't. Half of the team spawned back on the last point. And honestly, who knows what could have happened if their whole team did spawn there. But credit to where credit is due. The five really pulling out a great performance, uh, showing PKKA, you know, they did have some dicey moments, but showing them their quality overall. Um, that was a great game. We're going to see if we can get possibly uh, scalp on. See if we can get an interview with scalp, the uh, captain of, of the five. <clears throat> but yeah, no, great job by uh, the five there. Really getting it... Uh, Really getting their garrisons down. I was a little worried. We had a cap race. <laughs> that cap race was going crazy. So uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see if we can get them in here. Let's go to uh, what are we gonna go to? All right. We don't have Warhog with us right now, but we might get uh, Scalp here from PKK. Oh. So we'll boot that up, guys. I'll play the uh, the trailer, and we'll be right back with an interview from Scalp from the Five.
All right, we are just waiting for Scalp here. Uh, give us one moment and he will be with us. Uh, and yeah, no, great game by them. See if we can get him in. Great game from the five. They did a great job. Uh, honestly, it was nice to see them come out in full force and absolutely dominate. So, excuse me. We can see what uh, we can see what he has to say about that game and how hard it was. Uh, they lost. They almost lost the midpoint to a cap race. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, it, what would have happened to this game if PKKA had taken the the midpoint from them? I guess we'll never know. Um, but yeah, PKKA is coming out to play. Their offensive squads are showing us just what kind of quality they have. Now we'll uh, we'll see if that can translate to some defensive uh, de defensive success in the future. Because uh, that's honestly what they need right now. They need their defense to to step it up. We do have okay. There we go. Hey guys, can you hop? Uh, can you click that link I sent you? Uh, let's go. Ah, no worries. That's fine. Yeah, room with camera and just select your audio. How's it going, uh, the other guy in here? How are you doing? Uh, you can join without the camera. Does it still work like that for you? And just select the select the audio. No worries. Uh, nothing there. Huh. Yeah, give me one uh, one sec. That's weird. Uh, okay, I'll just use the... I'll pipe it through my uh, thing. It's fine. All right, there we go. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello. Hello, loud and clear. All right, we're good to go. So... Welcome everyone. Welcome Scalp and Alpha. I guess who's going to be translating for Scalp? A great game. Yeah. Con congratulations on your victory today. Uh, how? Let me walk me through that. How did it feel when you were cap racing uh, the middle point with uh, PKK selecting the last point? How did that feel for you guys? Comment t'as ressenti dans le fond de caper le dernier point le la cap race? Comment nous avons fait ça? Comment tu t'es senti? En fait, on, est, euh, on savait qu'ils allaient contre-attaquer le point 2 et qu'ils étaient encore sur euh, le point middle. Et euh, c'est pour ça qu'on avait anticipé des garnisons euh, et qu'on a été euh, prêt pour euh, sauter dessus avant même que le point 4 soit capé. All right. So, actually, we're, uh, we're, we were prepared to, uh, to attack like the, uh, the last objective. We know we have prepared a lot of backup garnishes just in case of something go wrong but yeah we're, we're we were prepared we didn't worry about that point we know we were you, you we were, were confident okay you were confident because honestly i gotta say for me watching it from above i was not as confident as you i was a little worried there you guys were gonna lose that point um so it's, it's nice to know you guys have confidence also uh there was a scary situation at the start of the round uh where an artillery round hit one of your trucks that was going to the midpoint and killed everybody in it. Did that guys, did that change your plan at all? How did you guys react and overcome that? I said that there was one of our salles d'artillerie that had taken our own truck. D'accord. And I didn't see that. Ah, oui, alors on a perdu, euh, on va dire, euh, 10 des, enfin, 7 des 10 mecs dans le camion, au middle, donc euh, ça a retardé, on va dire, notre mise en place sur le terrain, et c'est pour ça qu'après, euh, derrière, on a mis un petit peu plus de temps à, à, à 
prendre le, le point du middle. Leur artillerie, elle était très puissante. Et euh, le temps qu'on arrive à les, euh, enfin, à les faire euh, stopper, euh, voilà, ça, voilà, ça a pris du temps. Mais bon, ça s'est fait quand même au, au final. C'est ça. So, so uh, this mistake just happened and you know, you, we had to manage with it. It just re uh, delay some of, of our operation, but mm. we just managed to regroup and engage at once. But you know, in in combat, these things these things happen, and we just started out and we just reattack the points once again. Yeah, no, I, I could see that from from the the spectator. You guys, I, I could see your plan of getting a defensive line set up straight down the the middle column there uh, at any point in the game were you worried though uh, especially you know we've seen in the past pkka um hasn't won a game yet but were you ever worried on defense that the, they might uh, have some kind of crazy play to take your point or were you comfortable throughout the game defending je me demandais si uh, on était comme uh, à l'aise avec la défense euh ouais okay. si on était à l'aise avec la défense euh, ouais, bon, on, a, enfin, on a voulu mettre en place une, en fait, une base de, de défense avec euh, suppression et euh, artillerie tank euh, assez camouflée. Après, le, le but du jeu, c'était euh, de pousser vite et, euh, et loin dans les lignes, avec euh, comme euh, point faible, c'était no, notre frontal. En fait, sur tous les derniers matchs qu'on a eu, on a toujours eu un problème de gestion frontale qu'on a essayé de, résou de résoudre avec ce match-là. Et euh, voilà, en fait, c'est passé euh, assez euh, facilement contre les PKK. Euh, on verra pour les prochains matchs. You know, Purple Lane is like a wide open map, so we yeah. just have set up like defenses with tanks and mm -hmm. they do not advance and while the infantry is going up. And, you know, PKK, it's not a, a big crew, so we pra practically roll them over. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh man. Well, one thing I noticed though is you guys, your whole team, once you capped the second last point, your whole team responded the last point and you guys were there. There was nobody to defend there. I even noticed you scalp on the roof, leaning to the side. Did you practice that at all? Because that is a perfect position. I think you got two or three kills at the end there. Uh, just wa walk us through that. Were you surprised that there was no one defending at the end? And did you kind of scout out that spot on the roof to, to get some kills, anticipating uh, where they were going to come from on the last point? Dans le hango, ce qu'il nous a demandé, c'est si on avait pratiqué notre tactique de pouvoir rouler sur le bord de la map avec, euh, dans le fond, pour le dernier point. Puis, uh, sorry if I missed a little... I miss uh, some information, but yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, just asking him about uh, if they practice that move onto the last point, and if Scalp himself, because I I noticed him on a roof uh, with a really nasty angle, if he practiced that too. Okay, si 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 veut savoir si justement on a pratiqué ce, la tactique qu'on a faite, puis qu'on qu laisse notre point quasiment pratiquement sans défense en arrière de nos lignes pendant que nous autres on faisait notre move sur le bord de la map pour aller chercher le dernier point. Alors euh, voilà, dans Edge of Tools, il y, a, il y a un système de, de balance donc sur les points. Euh, quand on est en une majorité, à, à, enfin voilà, ben, enfin, tu connais, une majorité sur le, sur le point, ben, on commence à caper le point ou à le perdre. Et euh, ben, là, on était dans l'avantage en fait, de mettre la pression. Donc euh, eux, ils étaient vachement en retard, comme on disait au début, sur le point middle. Puis le point 4, euh, ils revenaient dessus alors qu'on était déjà en fait, sur le, le point d'après. Euh, en fait, ce n'est pas un entraînement personnel, c'est plutôt à force de subir des matchs comme contre les, les corps euh, ou les, ouais, les, les corps surtout et peut-être un petit peu les 116 c'est des équipes qui pratiquent vraiment ça et, euh, et parfaitement les timings et, euh, et voilà bah, on apprend comme ça en fait et après il bah, y a juste à regarder la map à essayer de voir où, où est l'ennemi et si on se trompe pas normalement le timing il est, il est bon et à se coordonner pour, pour se positionner quoi mm. God, who transfers so? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we practice it. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, we, but we have the experience for this move um, against the core team, by example. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry for my uh, ugly accent. Ah, it's um, fine. You're fine. I'm, I'm, I'm trying uh, to to translate. Um, we we have uh, no practice quotidiennement. Uh, um, uh, Comment on peut dire ça? Yeah, um, occasionally, uh, occasionally practice. We don't do oh that. Yeah. 
okay. not casually practice, but uh, we play um, uh, of, often uh, with the great teams. Uh, we are a young team and uh, we want to learn uh, fast. They need to learn fast uh, mm. for beat, beat them. And uh, tonight it's um, a, a try with a, a réussite, <laughs> uh, with a success. But okay. uh, voilà. Uh, voilà. Et après, yeah. uh, je ne saurais pas comment le dire en, en anglais, mais on va essayer de structurer ça maintenant qu'on a vu que ça a marché contre des équipes un peu plus fortes, en allant mm -hmm. peut-être un peu moins vite, mais en contrôlant mieux le terrain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry, I didn't get the last one there, Alpha. <laughs> what, what... Uh... <laughs> it was yeah you just say yeah we advance slowly and tr we try to uh, gather the much information and try to react quickly on everything we got we got a big good communication with with the whole team so mm. it's pretty good and we are we're all we're all a small team but we're we're we're, we're yeah sorry for that we're what? learning fast was that an airhead on the last point or was it a garrison there sorry uh who attacked us on uh on the last point of PKK, was that an airhead from you guys or was that a garrison from them or from you? Uh, a garrison, a garrison. Yeah, garrison. okay, it was a garrison. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, two Sorry. squad leader uh, spawn on it uh, before, the, before capturing the fourth point. Uh, and uh, when we have uh, the fourth point, we are, we are ready with the OP to uh, prepare the, the capture of uh, the last point. And um, PKK is um, are too slow tonight. We take uh, the roof. Uh, the field with a, a big view for the MG or rifleman, and uh, it's a really uh, too hard uh, to uh, retake the defense after that. Yeah, no, no, it was a great job, guys, today. Great win. Um, congratulations to you and, and your whole team, and we look forward to seeing what you guys have uh, have next week going on. Thank you. Thank you. Th thanks to you. Thanks to Alpha for translate, and thanks to uh, oh, I uh, my X. Best weeks for um, to the PKK A. It's a great team and all team on uh, Adelaide Luz. And um, I hope uh, they uh, keep the, um, the the morale, comme on dit, garder le morale. Yeah, keep their morale up. No, yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, yeah, honestly, yeah. they they did. They've been doing better each week, I think. Um, and, and, you know, like last week, they got their first cap. Uh, this week, they almost won a cap race with you. You say you were comfortable. I wasn't so comfortable sitting up in the camera. So they, they're doing good and they're constantly improving. And that's what, what we like to see. Anyways, thank you so much, Scalp. Thank you, thank Alpha, you. for coming on. Uh, thank you, everyone Thanks, watching. Uh, we're going to be yeah. raiding the other match, which is playing right now. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned uh, and uh, enjoy. It's going to be the core versus 38 infantry. So slash raid. Who are you rating? We're rating BR1 Gaming TV. Anyways, my name is Heathen Hammer. Uh, thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you follow this raid and enjoy the next game of uh, Hell Let Loose with us here in the HPL. Oh, sh shit. Cancel. No, cancel. Whoops. Put it too early. That's okay. We are going to go, and we will be uh, right back.